This is going to be a tutorial on writing information to a text file from the C programming language. So here we go. We are going to create our code. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. Code.c. I'm going to include our include our main header, which is stdio, which I believe stands for standard input output. Dot h for header. Going to create our main function here, which is the main part of our program. Actually, in this case, it's the only real part of our program. We're going to create a file object uh, f. Oh, let's make that a lowercase f, just to stay consistent. And we're going to say f equals f open for file open. And we're going to call it test.text, comma, and we're going to say w for write, because we're going to be writing. If you remember in the past, we read from the file. We used r there. Here we're going to write to the file. So now we're going to fprint f. So kind of like we do fprint, but this starts with an f, because we're file printing. We're printing to the file. So, And then we're going to say f which is basically saying we're writing to this file, test, the, oh, should be test.txt, not comma. There we go. And we're going to write the words, hello. And then now that we've written to that file, we can now close it. And we will return a value of zero for this function. We will save that. We will compile it. G plus plus code dot c dash o code like that. No errors. Dot slash code. Didn't see anything on screen, but now we can check and we have a test file. If we cat out that file, test dot text, you see it says hello. So if we run the code again and cat it out, you'll see. It hasn't changed because it just overwrites. We're not appending to the file. We're overwriting it. So if we go to back into our code, I can now say new line. And that will actually add the new line to that file. Let's recompile it since we changed the code, C++ code.c code. Run our code. And now we can cat test.txt. And you can see that it add a new line because our command prompt is now a line lower. And we can add more words to this. We can say, hello world. Oops. <laughs> Let me, uh, uh, oops, I'm screwing up here. Let me just exit out of that and go back into it. Forgot to go into edit mode. So I'm going to say, hello world, new line. How are you? New line. Save that. Compile it and hope for no errors. Woohoo! Dot slash. Now, if we cat out test dot text, it says, Hello world, how are you? Because we printed both those lines to the text file. The reason we got it on two lines because we put our new line character here. And in fact, we shouldn't have a space there. That's why it was kind of indented there because that extra space we put there. We'll save that and recompile it. Run the code again. And now we can cat out test.txt. Hello world, how are you without that extra little space there? So let's have a quick look at the code one more time. Our basic header, our main function, creating a file uh, variable basically. We're setting that file variable to open f so it's and read, I'm sorry, write. So we're opening up this text file. That's basically what this line is saying. We're saying f equals test.txt to just simplify it there. F print f is file print. So we're printing to f, which is test.txt, and we're printing this information to it. Then we're going to close the file, and that is it. Return zero just gives us that for error checking later on. And that is how you write to a file 
in the C programming language. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.